You are right. Yeah. It really helped that Eva came today. You're going to go and talk to her? I'll wait till it's over. I'm sorry I went off like that. It wasn't... Yeah, well, don't worry about that now. Just try and get through today, yeah? Yeah, you OK? Yeah, just... Part of me wishes I ain't come back. It's just bringing it all back to me. I think she needs a big hug. <sighs> Once the verdict's reached, we'll get back to France, yeah? Before he gets us. Good, good shot. Hey, you saved our lives again. Oh. 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 Right, it's time to go and uh, play with Hope. I'd rather play with you. You're well, more fun. Still, uh, she's looking forward to seeing you. And a promise is a promise. I don't want you to have a shop. I don't want you to stay with me. Don't you like looking after me? Of course I do, I love it. Well, then? Well, life's not that simple when you're an adult, and but you can't just do the things you want. Please don't get a shop. I'll miss you. <sighs> Is it safe? Safe? There's no way you know who might spot us. I'm really not bothered. Come on. Take a seat. Thought you were working. I just had the one shift. At least you can buy some food. I don't get paid till next week. It was murder in the pub, watching everybody eating. I kept feeling dizzy. This might be your lucky day then. No, I. I really can't take your food off you, you finish it. Eh? Oh, no, I like that when I found it. Go on, part of your fainting. <laughs> Flipping neck, it's busy, isn't it? Yeah. Right, who's next? Oh, me. me. Oh, <laughs> I'll serve you both. Right, you've got to try my Uber Duber, especially you, Mary. Oh, I intend to understand it's got my favourite tipple in it. Exactly. In fact, it was you what inspired me. Oh, I always wanted to be a muse. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's like Black Friday in here, isn't it? I know. I had my doubts at first, but Gemma's doing really great. Oh, you've done about great. This is the Rovers. Cocktails and crowds. Oh, don't be such a misery, guts. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, if you were wondering, I've uh, dropped Joseph off safely with his. Right, get myself a seat. So, Daniel reckons we can have the shop if we want it. Brilliant! Who is it, though? How do you mean? Well, you've got to ask yourself why they pulled out all of a sudden. Do they know something that we don't? I mean, they seemed a bit keen to get it off the plates. Suppose. And then there's all these businesses going under. I mean, do you want to risk it pre-Brexit? I hadn't thought of that. I mean, do you want to lose all those things? No, no, we don't. Still, if your heart's set on it, I'm sure we can make it work. Oh, I don't know now. Seen that you'd all uh, booked a cab, I was in the area. I thought, well, you know, I might as well take it. If we're gonna be here for a while. Oh, yeah, I know, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm not booked. <sighs> so, how's it going? It's hard, but we're coping. Well, I'm always here for you, you know that. Well, it must have been hard for you listening to all that in court then. No, it's fine. It's all in the past. We're really happy together. Good. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves to be happy after everything she's gone through. Just make sure you don't let her down, OK? I won't. Honor Susie mean the world to me. Hey, so how come you're here then? Oh, uh, they ordered a cab. I, I don't mind waiting. No, I'm sure you don't. It must have killed you when they took Susie away. I miss her, yeah. Good. I'm glad. I hope you never get over it. 
Uh, I'm just going to get some air. Yeah, OK. Listen, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Uh-huh. For being a cow. Oh. Not that you didn't deserve half of it. Fair enough. But, no, I mean, I guess I didn't realise how much you loved my brother. I'd give anything to have him back. Me too. We should celebrate tonight. Mm, yeah, let's get a takeaway somewhere. Mm, well, I was sort of thinking that maybe we could go to bed early with a bottle of wine. I can't drink, remember? And anyway, what use would you be after a whole bottle of wine? You're already drunk on Gemma Zuby Doobies. I'm not drunk. I'm just pleasantly inebriated. I, I, I don't know what she puts in them, but I reckon that it's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Coming to see you. Uh, it's about the shop. Oh, uh, can we maybe sort the details out tomorrow? I mean, we've got plans. The thing is, uh, much as I appreciate your offer, we've um, well, we've decided not to take it. What? No, look, if it's about the rent, then I'm sure. No, 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 it's not that. No, no. Um, I've accepted Chesney's offer, but but thanks anyway. stage. <laughs> hey, well handled. Hey, hey, last, last morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's normally me getting kicked out of the pub, not the other way around. Mm. You see, all that experience comes in handy. Look at the place. A bit rowdy, but I reckon you'll have both made a fortune by closing time. Yes. <laughs> well done, darling. Uh, no thanks to him. Look, the spine of the flipping pub. I'd say that was a pretty big contribution. There's just something about him I don't trust. It's like he's hiding something. So, what's up? You look pretty glum for a man who's supposed to be happy. Sleepless nights, they're getting to you already. It's nothing. You'd only say I told you so. Come on, spit it out, then. You might be an idiot, but you're still my nephew. I thought it could work. No, I'm not so sure. Why? Because <sighs> I've only just realised you're still in love with Eden. That's why. You don't have to rush off, do you? Come back to the Rovers for a drink. Yeah, yeah, it's our last day. It gives you a chance to say proper goodbye to the place, eh? Um, yeah, I I'll have to be really quick, though. Okay. I know the verdict was what we expected, but it was still hard to hear it out loud, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. Right. Somehow we've all got to move on from this without him. It's going to be hard, but if we all stick together, we can do it. Let's just be glad we've got each other still, eh? I mean, how'd you compete with a dead man? It's only going to grow more perfect in our mind. Our main second best. Well, you've got to decide whether you... you love her enough to accept that. Well, for now, anyway. I do love her. I do. I just don't know if she loves me as much. Yeah, well, don't always get along. Just don't waste your life wishing for something you can never have. That's all. Hi, girls! Uh, why are you wearing those 
flowers in your hair. Are you advertising the shop or something? What the heck have you got Willie's on for? Well, I'm not reckoning his shoes in some muddy field. It's a warehouse party, you <laughs> stupid idiots. Not Glastonbury. <laughs> you never said. Right, I'll go change him. Oh, no, 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 we haven't got time for that. Uh, Tyrone's lent us a curtsy car. Make sure you don't wreck it. How are we all going to fit in that? It'll be fine. I can't go like this. No, nobody's going to notice. Everybody is going to be off the red. Woo! You did this on purpose, didn't you? Well, don't be daft. It's not my fault you weren't listening. Yeah, have a listen. Oh, <laughs> nice one, babe. Wicked. <laughs> I don't see why I've got to be designated driver or you all get bladded. Four off, Kurt. Bladded? At a wedding fair? And why are you dressed like that? It's not a wedding fair. It's an acid house rave. Oh. Is it? Well, this place is jumping. Gemma must be doing some at reading. Mm. Half price drinks. What she don't get is it's half profits and all. But right, I'd give her a week before she drives this place into the ground. Shame. Yeah, you've worked here longer than any of us. Must hold a lot of memories for you, this place. Yeah. Right, you, you ready? Should we go over to streetcars, get a cab from there? Oh, can you not stay a bit longer? Well, we got an aeroplane to catch, haven't we? Come here, come on then. You know, you, you don't have to go. I'm sure Johnny wouldn't try anything like that again. I just, uh, just think a fresh start's best. You ready? I need to talk to you. Well, what is it? Can we do it on the way? Not really. Can we go outside? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, how could you lie to me like that, eh? And what about poor Amy? Fancy wanting to go to a rave rather than go to your own daughter's concert? I'm sorry, Steve. Well, I'm afraid sorry isn't good enough, sweetheart. Amy was gutted. Gutted. All right then, Steve. Well, I'll go. Trace. No, no, mate. No, Steve's right. It was selfish of me. Uh, if Tracy wants to go, let her. Yeah, no, I, I agree with Abby, actually. I think every mother's entitled to a night off occasionally. I think you've been a bit mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, maybe I am overreacting slightly. Uh, I suppose with I'm going, Amy doesn't really need the both of us. Do you mean that, Steve? Yeah, you go on. Oh, come here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you'll have to make it up to me, though. Oh, I promise. And I tell you what, you can even have that season ticket you've been banging on about. How about that? Oh, well, I suppose that'll do. <laughs> come here. Oh. Right, come on. Yeah. Hey, watch me flowers. You stupid hat off thing. It's not a hat, it's a headdress. <gasps> <laughs> so what's this about, then? We've got a plane to catch. I'm staying, Eva. What? I can't come with you. <gasps> so what you mean was it was nice for a while, but you've had enough now? Is it France? Cos we don't have to go back there. We can stay in the UK. We can, we can move down south. I heard what you said in court. You didn't tell me you came back from that you wanted to get back together. What does it matter what I felt back then? It matters because you still feel the same way now. You said yourself you'd do anything to have him back. I don't think I can live with that. Adam, you, you can't compare yourself with Aidan. That's not fair. That's the trouble. I'll always think you're comparing with us. I wouldn't. Of course I wouldn't. What we've got is completely different. Exactly. I need you. Needs not the same as love, is it? Look, don't blame yourself. I was the one that rushed you into all of this. But it was too soon. You're not ready to move on yet. Well, you can help me move on. Adam, please don't do this. I need you to love me. I do. Just as much as you did him. I'm sorry. You're an amazing woman. We're still friends, are we? Always. You take care of yourself, yeah?
Do you know, Gemma, your Scooby Doobies are the best. Uber Dooba. Whatever. <laughs> Hit the spot. She's right, much as it pains me to say it. <laughs> now, now, girls. Play nice. Oh. Actually, how would you like to come back and work here? Really? Yeah. I could do with an old hand. Less of the old, if you don't mind. But, yeah, I'd love to. Great. Can you start tomorrow? Of course. <laughs> uh, uh, don't you think we should wait until it's all official before we start employing people? Oh, it's as good as, isn't it? I actually feel like I'm a proper landlady now. <laughs> Sorry, um, I've got to take anyway, this. Anyway, I'm off home to my beloved. See you tomorrow, love. Yeah, see you, Kathy. No, no, don't come here. What? Where? Oh, all right. I'll try and sneak out the back. I am this close to washing my hands of you. No, 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 don't do that. I couldn't manage without you, sweet pea. Don't try and soften me up. We need to talk. Fine. But I can't stay long. Gemma might notice. Have you told her yet? No. I couldn't bring myself to. She's so happy. You're such a coward. Well, if you don't, I okay. will. Okay. Okay. I'll tell her. When? Tomorrow. I just... I... I don't want to spoil tonight for her. You promise? Promise. Look, um, I better get back inside. I could kill Adam. Oh, I understand why he did it. He's right, really. Miss him, though. Eva! without sorting things out. Taking Susie like that was unforgivable. I'm sorry. Everything I put you through. Hey, what? You weren't yourself. Ever since Aiden's death, I blame myself. I never realised you were doing the same. Well, it's hard not to when he's not here to ask. <laughs> yeah. But this wasn't your fault. Just like it wasn't mine. We're going to have to learn to accept that. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mwah. First time as a granddad, and I mess it all up. I wish I could have got to know you. Johnny, you'll have to come and visit them, won't you? Do you mean that? Yeah, of course I do. Look, Susie will always know who her dad was. And I wanted to get to know her family as well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll, I'll see you both soon, eh? Hey? Yeah. Right, come on, my turn now. I can stay in touch, do you hear me? Right, then, I'll put the car seat in the car. Right, you. You give your auntie a big kiss goodbye. Don't go. You're going to be on your own now. I've got me mum. Yeah, but it's not fair to put all this on her. I mean, here you've got both of us. And you'd never even have to pay for childcare. I mean, I'd happily help you out, you know that. I know that. It's part of the reason I'm going. It's part of the reason that I went in the first place. What? It's not just Johnny, Toya. As long as Susie's around, you're not going to get over her. No, that's not true. In your head, you're still her mom. And, and partly, I feel like that as well, and it... I can't cope with that. It's too much. No, I swear I'm fine with it, honest. I tell you... I saw you take a hat. The one you got her when she was born. I watched you hug it. 
and I watched you put it in your handbag. And my heart broke for you, it really did. But I knew then that we had to go. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Look, I'll try harder, I promise. I'll... Babe, you've tried. We both have. It's not gonna work. You know that, don't you? <laughs> If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for support information. Mm -hmm.